application, Lamplighter Brewing Company, LLC, doing business as Lamplighter Brewing Company, has applied for a farmer, brewery, pouring permit, and common picture license at 284 Broadway. Kayla Marlow is proposed manager and proposed hours of operation from Tuesday through Sunday, 11 a.m. to 12 a.m., with a seating capacity of 35. The applicant is also applying for an entertainment license to include an audio tape machine, CD, computerized digital media that can be played below at or above conversation level and one TV. <coughs> Premise description building at 284 Broadway, single story, 10,032 square feet, brick and concrete, concrete structure, situated on a 10,684 square foot plot of land with brewing bottling room of 6,339 square feet, a tasting room with a bar that's 1,060 square feet, kitchen 177 square feet, three bathrooms, break room, and storage in rear of 1,300 square feet. Building is a rough rectangle, approximately 73 feet wide, facing the street and going back 152 feet, with a cutout in the back right corner that is 13 feet wide by 39 feet long. Lot number is block 87, lot 47 recorded in Middlesex South Registry of Deeds, book 20,832, page 510. Good evening. Could you please state your names for the record? My name is Kayla Marvel. Uh, Kayla, spell your first name and last name. C-A-Y-L-A. -A. The last name is M-A-R-V-I-L. My name is Andrew Jones, and the uh, Tyler Fitzpatrick. T-Y-L-A-R. Fitzpatrick. Just spell it for the record. F-I-T-Z-P-A-T-R-I-C-K. Thank you. Um, I do know that you guys already have a farmer brewery license there, correct? Correct, yeah. Okay. Can you tell us what's the public need for the porn license? Sure. So a main point of the business is we really want it to be downtown and have a tap room space where people can come in and sit, watch the brewing process, learn about what we're doing, and then sample our beers. So we're hoping to have a tap room to give people the opportunity to do that. Whereas the farmer brewer license that we have right now only allows us to sell off-site to accounts. And that'll really open up the building right now. It's a, kind of a closed space right downtown, about 10,000 square feet. Um, and having a tap room will really allow us to actually open that up to the public. And I did go through the application, had a few questions. I know you've already, since the farmer brewery <laughs> license goes just straight through the ABCC. I'm sure you've already gone through this process and all of you yeah. have been vetted by the ABCC. But unfortunately, everyone has to fill out everything all over again. Yeah. And right now I'm missing all the Corey information forms except for the manager of record. Okay. Um, so I need all of the people involved with interest to submit their Corey forms again. Okay, gotcha. Um, for the and ABCC, the they just had us do it with the voting numbers, but we can get everyone else to do it. Okay. Yeah. So they only had you to, even though it's not a publicly traded company or anything? Yeah, so we have Class A members, which is the two of us, yeah. and then everyone else is Class B members. So, and as Class A members, we're the only two with voting rights. Um, okay, so, so that's why I only have your quarry forms. Yeah, for the two of us. And the, they had told us that the voting <coughs> ownership percentage that they had was small enough. For small enough, less than 5%, so it didn't matter? Exactly, yeah. Okay. But, you know, we can, we can do that if you'd like it. Listen, it's an ABCC requirement, not a local board requirement. So, I mean, we can send up the application that way, but if it gets kicked back to us, then you'll know it's, sure. it's because of that. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it really, it, it's not a local requirement um, because of what you just mentioned, but because it wasn't a publicly traded company pursuant to the ABCC kind of matrix, it says that you have to, but since they've already gone through this, I mean, we could certainly try it. <laughs> I'm willing to try. <laughs> you know. Um, who who's in the DMI group LLC? It's Tom Niedermeyer and Aaron Sells and they both have personal okay. information forms. Yeah. There. And are you pledging the inventory? Mm -hmm. No. I'm just gonna have you check off no on that. Oh, sure. um, it wasn't answered. Just, I think it's sixteen C. You guys are going to be closed on Monday. <coughs> Correct. And you're currently operating. We're not. Not, not yet. Operation. No, we're in construction. When do you expect to finish construction? 
hopefully mid May. And so, Ms. Marbell, uh, I know that you are approved as the manager of record on the other permit, correct? Correct, yeah. You've been approved in any other uh, license, liquor license? Just our federal brewing permit. But, yeah. Okay, so can you tell us a little bit about your experience? Sure, I've worked in the restaurant industry for the last 10 years, various positions, um, manager, server, bartender, chef, and Prior to Lamp Later, I was a manager at a cafe in Vermont, and they had a beer and wine license. And I wasn't a manager of record there, but I did work really closely and understand the responsibilities involved. Yeah. Have you received a 21 proof training? All three of us have, yeah. And are you familiar with the rules and regulations and the laws with regard to the sale and service of alcohol? Yes. And do you understand that we expect you to stay up to date with those rules, laws, and regulations? Yes. Are you Massachusetts resident? Yes. Are you a U.S. citizen? Yes. Is this the, you're going in the space that was metric systems? Yeah. <coughs> I have one more. Uh, for Aaron Sells, the personal information form, can you just fill out number five completely? <coughs> Specifically the percentage interest. Sorry, I should have had you come. Oh, no. And also for you, Miss Marvel, in there, number five. I'm not positive. I don't know what it is. Oh, okay. Really emphasize we were in other alternative transportation methods. 
and it, it is a it is a relatively small space. It's thirty five seats, so we don't anticipate it actually being a huge uh, additional burden for one parking. Yeah, we we actually live on Gordon Street right down there, so we agree parking can be a can be a bit of a drag. Sure. I have another question. Sure. Go ahead. <laughs> um, our other concern is loitering. I mean, what do you how do you anticipate preventing this from happening in your hours of service? Sure. Um, loitering, I mean, we're, we're actually we're talking about this today. We're planning on putting up no smoking signs. We're really not have, hoping to have anybody in front of the building okay. at all. Um, and you know, that's, that's something we really like to avoid, too, because that doesn't, that doesn't look good for anybody. Um, we aren't really anticipating this behaving much like a bar. It should be much more like a, a coffee shop.